please join us around the flag. I would be too. Hello, hello. No, is it on button? Ah, there? yep, I see it. Good morning, everyone. How are we feeling? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, my name's Logan. My pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, and I'm here on behalf of North Haven Pride today to welcome you all to the town's second annual flag raising. Let's give it up. <laughs> We greatly appreciate each and every person here for taking time out of their Friday morning to join us in this important and momentous occasion. Today, as we raise the flag, we celebrate not just the beginning of Pride Month, but the incredible spirit of local community. At North Haven Pride, we're united by a shared vision, fostering acceptance and inclusivity within our small town. Through our collaborative efforts, we're tirelessly working to create spaces where every LGBTQIA individual feels valued and celebrated. By organizing engaging events and fostering meaningful connections between folks of all ages, uh, we work together toward a common goal of building a community where everyone can thrive in their authentic selves. Though our celebration may still be modest in size, it truly is immense in heart and meaning. It serves as a powerful reminder to the community that everyone is welcome here regardless of who they are or whom they love. Small town celebrations like ours hold a special kind of magic. <clears throat> they bring us closer together, creating an environment where everyone feels seen, heard, and valued. It's a testament to our shared commitment to fostering a community where diversity is celebrated and inclusion is the norm. I myself grew up in a small town in New Jersey with a very similar demographic to that of North Haven. And while I never felt unsafe or threatened whilst living there, I can only imagine how incredible of a difference it would have made to little me's confidence if I saw my community publicly voicing their support and taking a stand for my right to exist freely and authentically. I'm so happy that all the youngsters, which I know I look to be a part of, but I promise my birth year starts with a one, uh, get to grow up in a town that's full of committed people working tirelessly to create a warm and welcoming home. This supportive environment is largely thanks to the tenacity and vision of several courageous individuals, you know who you are, uh, who decided to take the leap and start North Haven Pride. Their dedication and hard work has paved the way for a community that embraces all of its members, ensuring a brighter and more inclusive future for the next generation. Today's flag raising symbolizes our dedication to these values. It stands for the bravery of those who came before us, the progress we've made, and the work that still lies ahead. But most importantly, it represents love, acceptance, and the unwavering support we offer to one another. And for anyone listening who may still be driven by ignorance, at the end of the day, and as cliche as it is, we are all human. Before all else, I myself am a son, brother, husband, cat and dog dad, co-worker, neighbor, business owner, and being queer and trans is only one tiny facet of my identity that doesn't wholly define who I am, or anyone else. And so with that, let us continue to make our town a shining example of what it means to be inclusive and welcoming. Together, we can ensure that every individual feels proud and safe to be their true selves every day of the year. Thank you, happy Pride, and please welcome First Selectman, Mike Frieda. Well, Logan, thank you very much. Your eloquence was very impressive here. So thank you for your words, I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending here this morning. And I wanted to share with you a personal story that for years here in North Haven, since I have taken office, I have strived very hard to have a, a community that is warm, inclusive, loving, and caring. In the midst of so much turmoil across the world and across the United States, we must always remember that we have to stay together as a community. Today's event, the second annual Pride event here in North Haven, I hope represents to each and every one of you a powerful symbol of how important it is to embrace diversity and not condemn it. We as human beings and people, we all have differences of opinion. We all maybe have a different type of lifestyle and family lifestyle that we we abide by and live 
towards. But it's so important to understand how embracing diversity is critical to the success of a community and the success of a society. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. For as long as I'm here in North Haven, we will continue to celebrate pride. Next week on June 8th, Next week on June 8th, next Saturday, we'll be having our second annual Pride event on the North Haven Green. And I hope each of you would be willing to attend and will attend. I'm very honored today to stand with my friend and colleague, our state treasurer, Eric Russell, who took the time out of his busy schedule. Let's give him a round of applause. Woo! Eric and his staff two weeks ago were kind enough to invite me to be a guest speaker down at the Hotel Marcel New Haven on a variety of governmental topics and I appreciated that very much and we are very much appreciate that Eric is here today to say a few words. Eric? Thank you Mike um, and good morning everyone. Thank you all for being here. It is an honor to be here for the second uh, which I know now is going to be annual uh, flag raising here in North Haven. Uh, thank you to North Haven Pride for all of your work uh, organizing this incredible event. Um, listen, I, I'm, I, we're all very fortunate to live in Connecticut. Um, Connecticut is a state that has led the way on LGBTQ plus rights and issues. We are a space that has built uh, communities that are accepting, where frankly we're a refuge for many folks in the LGBT plus community from all over the country who come to Connecticut knowing um, that they can live their life authentically and raise their families. Um, and it's not by happenstance. It's by uh, state leading with, it, with its values. It's about elected officials um, stepping up and supporting our community, uh, implementing policy that supports our community. Um, and it's about so many people who led the way when it was much harder to do so. Um, and we're simply doing it by uh, living their authentic lives. Um, as we celebrate Pride this month, it's important to remember that Pride started as a riot, right? This was about people that were just too through with being stepped on and bullied and discriminated against and were willing to push back. And so as we celebrate Pride, I think it's really important to uh, remind yourselves that um, Pride and joy and celebration is an act of resistance in and of itself many times. Um, and so don't underestimate what your presence here means today. Um, I would also say that, you know, it's clear what type of community that we've built in Connecticut uh, by this event here today, by this flag going up, and by the celebrations that will be taking place all across the state over the next month, but frankly, every day. And uh, it's an incredible signal that it sends to so many in our community. Uh, you cannot underestimate the impact of this flag going up here in North Haven. Um, for the kid that drives by or walks by, who's figuring themselves out, who doesn't know who they are yet, who's afraid of the consequences of them coming out and living authentically, um, this, pride, this flag represents the fact that there is a community that is here to love and support them that they will be embraced for who they are. And um, we should take pride in the fact that we are doing this to, to support young folks. Because frankly, we've seen the rhetoric that's happened. We've seen the attempts to attack our community, particularly our children and our young folks. It's happening on the national level. It's happening on the state level, frankly, from some. And it's happening in our local communities as well. And the message that we need to send is that there are more of us that are going to continue to support people being themselves than there are the people that want to spread hatred and rhetoric. So uh, one thing that I'm also proud of is that I'm the, uh, the sole LGBTQ constitutional officer in Connecticut. Um, but that, I, I don't take that lightly. Um, I think it's why it's so important that we are out here um, supporting the community. People need to know that their government and their elected officials have their backs. Um, but I also would be remiss if I did not acknowledge so many of the folks that allowed me to actually be in this spot to run. Um, when I was a little kid growing up in New Haven, I could never have imagined coming out, 
getting married, certainly not doing any of those things in a public way or in a public office. And it's folks that came out while they were in the legislature or who ran openly or who were in jobs that paved the way for so many others to do it. And so um, I'm just incredibly proud to be here. I'm honored to be here. I'm proud of the work that we've done here in the state of Connecticut to support our community, the work that we will continue to do, um, and really appreciate all of the work for those here today who are going to continue that fight as we move forward. Uh, with that, it's my uh, pleasure to introduce Allison Dodge, who is here from the office of Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to ask Mike, because uh, I know we have some officials that have come up, so. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. I, I, I just noticed, ladies and gentlemen, in the crowd, I want to recognize some of our other officials who are here today. Our superintendent of schools, Patrick Sterk, is here. Our state representative from the 87th District, Mr. Dave Yaccarino, is here. And I see our state senator in the 34th District, Paul Ciccarello, who's here. I'd like to acknowledge our third select woman, Ms. Sally Boemi, who's here. I'd like to acknowledge our Park and Recreations Director, Andy Del Vecchio, who's here, who's been a large part of this. And one of my staff members, Valerie Goodkin, is here also. So thank you all for joining us, and I apologize if I've missed somebody whom I can't see. Thank you very much. Allison? Thank you. Um, as Eric mentioned, I'm here <clears throat> on behalf of Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. Um, but just for a quick second, I just want to take a moment to thank um, everyone uh, who has worked to, to bring the North Haven Pride event together. I don't have kids myself, but I do have several nieces and nephews that are part of the LGBTQ plus community. And I watched them struggle to come out to feel comfortable in their community. So for me to see this, I, I can't even tell you how I think that, if I think, looking back, if they saw this kind of support, how much more comfortable in their own skin they would have been. And, and they have grown up to be amazing people and doing great things. Um, but just know that these things have an impact and and i can't thank you enough for for doing that so um on behalf of rosa um who can't be here today but is looking forward to joining you uh uh next weekend i think <laughs> yeah um rosa did uh do a, a certificate here that i'll read it's a certificate of special recognition presented to north haven pride as you begin the second annual pride celebration with heartfelt congratulations and my deepest thanks for your good work on behalf of the lgbtq plus community and to ensure that every North Haven resident feels safe, affirmed, empowered, and a part of this special community. And it's dated today and signed Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro. And now I'm not sure who I'm supposed to turn this back to. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I'm Brandi Mandato. I'm one of the co-founders of North Haven Pride. And now, it's the moment we've been waiting for. We get to turn the day over to our Girl Scout color guard. Girl Scouts, attention. Color guard, advance. Color guard, post the colors. Mr. Frieda, will you have the honors? Color Guard, honor your flag. 
please join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with, <laughs> for all. dismissed. We are now going to open the floor for community testimonies. Good morning, North Haven Pride. <clears throat> My name is Merv Chaplin. Yeah, that's right. Merv Griffin, Charlie Chaplin. Um, well, what do you expect? I'm 82 years old. Probably the oldest person here. <laughs> I was here last year for the first uh, Pride flag raising. And I must say, it was one of the most proud, proudest days of my life. First of all, I was proud of my family. Proud of my son, Jay, straight. My daughter-in-law, uh, Raven, who calls herself pansexual. My granddaughter, Desiree, who is lesbian. And of course, me, old granddad, who discovered later in life that I truly am a gay man after all. <laughs> so I was proud of my family. I was also proud of this community, this town of about 24,000 people, founded in 1786. Can you believe that? There is something older than me. <laughs> I was proud of our community. When I heard about North Haven Pride and the uh, desire to widen the welcome in this community. And I was also proud of our first selectman, Mike Freda, who said last year that he kind of ran interference with us and uh, dealt with some fellow citizens that weren't too excited about gay people in this community. Um, they were afraid of opening up North Haven to people like that. But he reminded them that we're already here and we have as much right as they do to freedom, love, acceptance, and a wonderful, warm community. So I was proud of our community. And proud of Mike. Thank you, Mike, for all you do and for this town. I was also proud of the progress America has made in my lifetime, recognizing the civil and human rights of LGBT plus people. I've seen it all during my life. Hatred, bigotry, acceptance, love. I was reminded of an incident that happened in 1993. I know that's older than most of you. My son Jay, 
uh, who I'm living with now, um, was a student at that time at the University of California in Santa Cruz. And I had gone to visit him one weekend, and it just so happened it was the time for the Santa Cruz Gay Pride Parade. He dragged me along with him. <laughs> and um, uh, just before the parade started, he had a brilliant idea. Uh, we went, and went, went through a couple of trash bins and found a big cardboard box, took a pen knife and cut out a couple of placards, punched some holes in it, put strings around them, and found a big, thick, black marker on which we wrote, I'm proud of my straight son, and I'm proud of my gay father. And then we looped them around our necks and marched down the full length of the parade as many thousands of people applauded and snapped pictures. It was a wonderful time of of pride for me. Um, and as the parade was finished, a reporter from a local newspaper rushed up and asked if she could uh, interview us. And here's the clincher. I had to say no, because at that time I was working for a religious organization, homophobic religious organization, and I was afraid the word would get back to them and I would be fired. And believe me, that would have happened. So I said, no, I couldn't be interviewed. Now contrast that with today and a year ago at the first flag raising. Here I am, openly part of a GLBT plus community and working with several minority uh, rights groups. I have come a long way. This country has come a long way. I'm proud of the progress that we have made. My precious granddaughter, who's 13 years old, Desi, and all the wonderful, fabulous kids here are growing up in a very different world than what I knew. Thank God. It's time, isn't it? So I'm very, very thankful to see that flag waving up there. I'm proud of our pride flag. Long may it wave over North Haven. Woo. My name is Maya Spadacenta. I'm the president of North Haven High School GSA. Um, being a part of this North Haven community, along with the queer community, is something that has truly shaped me as a person. What North Haven has been doing for the youth and the LGBTQIA community over the past year has been incredible. They've been putting on teen nights quite often, allowing us to interact with our peers that we might not get the chance to talk to otherwise. They're hosting a Pride event on the green for the second year in a row, which is an incredible experience. And here we are doing the flag raising for the second year in a row. And it's just so many more amazing things that they're doing for everyone. I feel welcomed as a queer person in this town to find and, and find myself invited to, to join in on all of the festivities. We intend to make everyone feel this way and for them to feel safe showing their true selves. No amount of words can express how truly grateful I am to be a part of this wonderful experience and to live in this town and be able to play a part in making all of this happen. To wrap it up, I hope that one day all queer people can feel safe in their own skin and in their own surroundings and be able to express who they truly are with no doubt or worry. Thank you and happy Pride. Uh, forgive me if I stutter, I'm a little scared. Um, hello, my name is Tessa. I am one of the three presidents at North Haven GSA, I'm a vice president. Um, I would like to share a few words and I'll be reading a poem submitted to me by a person who wishes to remain anonymous. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank every single person that brought us to this point where I can come up to this mic and give this small speech on equality. Thank you for everything you have done. Uh, secondly, I want to applaud every single person here. 
Coming out is a very difficult thing to do. It does not matter if you came out 15 years ago or a week ago. The ability to stand proud in the face of aversion, to stand here now as you raise this flag, it is an amazing feat and an amazing honor. And to the allies, thank you for coming. To, coming. Your support means the world to us. Lastly, I want to mention the strength each of you have. Recently, the LGBTQIA plus community has been facing a lot of discrimination, and it is not an easy in any way to join together like how I have seen us do. In many ways, I, have see, I see us break, but in so many more, these little acts of community and kindness, um, I have seen inclusion in the face of diversity like never before. Remember this, if you don't remember anything else from the speech, remember that we are stronger united than anyone thinks. So choose kindness, choose to stand up for others, and choose to create the environment that you wish someone created for you. <laughs> to the leaders here, you have the ability to uplift people's lives and change them in more ways than you know. Please choose to continue helping others. Some of you here have changed my life and you might not even know my name. That is how important your actions are. Please remember that as well. And the very last thing I want to say is to the trans community who is currently under scrutiny and facing backlash for existing every single day. Hold strong. I know you have the strength in you. Hold to it. Sorry for this being so long. I know you all want me to get down now. Um, but one last thing. I have a poem from the anonymous source I mentioned earlier. This is called The World is Tilted. The world is tilted, but life still grows, forms roots in the cracks, and get used to the angle it was, angle it was forced into. Then a wind blows, and the world rolls back into place it never knew. Something unknown, something dangerous. The world is shaking as it tries to get safe and roll back into the pain it knew, but it cannot escape the comfort it feels. So life suffers trying to make sense of it all. Ignorance is bliss, but the cracks are healing and life is readjusting. And the small pieces of the universe the world carved out for itself. The world that was tilted finally right and finally healing from the tilt it never knew and the pain of knowledge. Thank you all. Happy Pride. Hi, um, I'm Gabby. Some of you might remember me from last year. Um, I'm a sophomore at North Haven High School and I am vice president of the GSA. I would like to say that the North Haven Pride community has done so many amazing things and has made so much growth in the past year. It's everything I wanted to have with me when I was a middle schooler who had just freshly came out to everyone. In de de whoa. <laughs> developmental years for kids and teens, it's essential to have surrounding support systems, and I'd like to say that North Haven Pride is executing it perfectly. Every month they have events for teens and particularly queer teens to attend and every time it is so refreshing and relaxing to see how many teens there feel relaxed and comfortable to be who they are and share their experiences. I'm happy to say that I'm a very proud North Haven member and for the first time in a very long time I'm proud to be a queer woman as well. I am able... <laughs> I'm able to go to a pride parade, be an active part of the community, hold my partner's hand in public, and be an activist of my community. All of which I was scared of doing before, but I now can because of the support system I have. Every single person deserves a safe space, and I'm happy my town can be one for queer people. For others listening, just know you're not alone, and I find beauty in the fact that every single person can't be identically the same as everyone else they meet. Sometimes you won't fit in possible expectations, sometimes people will be mean, and sometimes you'll question your self-worth. I'm here to tell you that no matter what anyone says, being in this community is a difficult but beautiful experience. You should never let anyone else make you feel bad for a part of you. Everyone's experiences are different, and find comfort in your, in your identity being your own and no one else's. You're very loved and you will go on to do great things and you know that loving someone should never be negative. Be unapolo unapologetically you, love yourself, and find people who love you too, and soon the negative voices will drown behind you. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of myself, I'm very proud of everyone here, and I thank everyone. Um, happy Pride. Um, hello, I am Hannah, um, I use they, she pronouns, and I don't have anything prepared, but I just wanted to say um, thank you to everyone who organized this, thank you to everyone at North Haven Pride. Um, 
I so I am presently a seventh grader. I'm going into eighth grade next year, which is a big step. <laughs> um, when I was in fifth grade, I came out to my mom. Thankfully, my mom was really proud of me. Um, and like my whole family is very accepting of me. Um, I face some discrimination, but I'm past that now. I wish that this had been a thing when I was in fifth grade. Um, every time I'm at teen night, I feel accepted and it's just really goofy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, um, and it's, it's, it's fun, it's randomness and if you haven't gone to a teen night, I suggest you do. It's really fun. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I wanted to say. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to my parents. Thank you to my family. Thank you to everyone here today, supporting uh, everyone in the community. Yeah. Wow. Um, my name is Jamie Christmas. Sorry about that. Um, my name is Jamie Krzmarzik. I'm one of the other uh, co-chairs for North Haven Pride. One last huge round of applause for our community testimonies. Those were amazing. Thank you to all these brave teams. It's not easy to get up in front of a microphone. Um, this concludes our flag raising ceremony. I cannot thank you enough for showing up and engaging and supporting this beautiful North Haven community. To our leaders, to our director of the library, Sue Griffith, thank you for helping us. Our elected officials, First Electman Mike Frieda, we cannot thank you enough for paving the way, for leading us forward into progress, into equality. Um, I just want to do one last announcement. We have our Pride event next Saturday, June, end, uh, June 8th, starts at noon. We'd love to see you all there. Please tell a friend, bring a friend, um, and it is rain or shine. So thank you all for coming, and um, yeah, go amongst and be proud. <laughs> Yeah.